Good morning, Pastor Jay with your Monday devotion. And we begin a new week. It's, it's good to think about uh, what we're going to face. We know that there's going to be some good times this week, and there's also going to be some struggles. We just, we're sure of that. And so I want to begin with a passage from the book of Hebrews, the fourth chapter. And this particular passage has to do with how God understands what you're going through. Listen to this from Hebrews 14 through 16, and pay special attention to the very end of it. It begins, Since then we have a great high priest who has passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God. Let us hold fast, fast to our confession. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to sympathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who in every respect has been tested, as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore approach the throne of grace with boldness, so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in every time of need. No matter what you face this week, God is with you. And it's just wonderful to know that he's been there, he's experienced it, and he can relate. I want to share with you another little passage from Mocha with Max. And listen to this. Ever feel as if you need to get away? So did Jesus. I love those commercials where the person does something really embarrassing and they get that look on their face and it says, want to get away? There's times for that, aren't there? Well, let's see what he has to say. Early the next morning, while it was still dark, Jesus woke and left the house. He went to a lonely place where he prayed, and that's Mark chapter 1, verse 35. Ever have so many demands that you can't stop for lunch? He can relate. Crowds of people were coming and going so that Jesus and his followers did not even have time to eat. And that's Mark 6.31. Do you have too much email to fit in a screen or too many calls to make in a day? Christ has been there. Great crowds came to Jesus, bringing with them the lame, the blind, the crippled, those who could not speak and many others. They put them at Jesus' feet and he healed them. And that's Matthew 15.30. How about family tension? When his family heard what was happening, they tried to take him home with them. He's out of his mind, they said. And that's Mark 3, 21. Do your friends ever let you down? When Christ needed help, his friends dozed off. You could not stay awake with me for one hour. That's Matthew 26, 40. When you turn to him for help, he runs to you to help. Why? Because he knows how you feel. He's been there. And I mean, that to me, that's the real mark of a friend, right? Is somebody who's there when you need them. It's someone you can call on and they respond. And that's what we have in Jesus Christ. The very face, the very presence, the very essence of our Heavenly Father, who's closer than a brother and who's ready to help you out. So let's ask for that help this week. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you know our struggles. You've been there. You've overcome them in Jesus Christ. And Lord, you know that we face the same kind of struggles. Heavenly Father, help us in this week to always look to you, to run for that grace, to come to you boldly, to seek what we need to move from day to day. And remind us, Lord, we can start over every morning, that even when we mess up, even when it seems like we've gone down the wrong path, we even wonder if we have faith. The next day you say, be mine, walk in my ways. Lord, bless us this day, this week. We ask it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Well, God bless you. Hope you have a great week.